Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shane Eikenberry. You're watching another episode of I Can Barbecue. Today, we got a really interesting cook plan. We're going to be doing some Jack and Coke barbecue chicken out on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. Should be a great time, so stay tuned. All right, to start, we got these beautiful, fresh chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, in my opinion, are probably the best part of an entire chicken. I'd eat these over just about anything other than wings. Wings are my, my go-to. But uh, nothing fancy. This isn't for competition. This is just for our backyard barbecue. I'm gonna square it up a little bit, cut a little bit of this extra skin off. There we go. Just stuff I don't wanna take a bite of. There we go. Okay, maybe a little bit of that fat right there. There we go. Yeah, and that looks good. Just kind of want to make it a little square. Nothing special, like I said, should be pretty easy. I'm not going to show you guys every single one of them, but I'm going to go ahead and get these done. Then we're going to start the marinade. Stick around. All right, went ahead and squared them up. Really didn't take too much time at all. Just kind of trimmed down anything I really didn't think I wanted to eat. Big, big wads of fat or skin. So. Got them ready. Next step, salt and pepper. Let me just shed the gloves, or de-glove. So just gonna go right here on it. Go, same thing with the pepper. Repeat this step on the bottom. Shed the glove. Gonna glove back up, then we're gonna get the marinade on. All right, gonna try and fit all this chicken into one of these Ziploc bags. Let it down a little bit. There we go. I think we can do it. We're going to start with two cokes. Don't worry, I'm not leaving the jack out. I know you don't see it up here, but we got to plan for that a little later. There we go. Actually, only going to need one coke for this one. We were planning on doing two bags, but one bag is enough. One fourth cup lemon juice. One fourth cup Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Just gonna mix it up a little bit here. Try and work all those flavors in. And this only needs a few hours to marinate. The Coke and the lemon juice, very acidic. It'll penetrate really well. You don't wanna leave this in there too long. I would say two to three hours at most. Come on, Ziploc bag. Got it, okay. Well, kinda got it. All right, I'm just popping the bag here. The zipper broke. And this is actually Ziploc. This isn't like store brand, you know? This is the good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge, like I said, two to three hours at most. Then we're gonna get it out, get it on the smoker, and we got some really cool uh, stuff we're gonna make up later, so stay tuned. three hours now this chicken has definitely absorbed all this flavor we're gonna get it out of this bag this broken ziploc bag and 
into a foil pan. I'm going to do this with one hand here. Oh yeah. You can even see the colors changed a little bit. It's a little darker. I'm going to tighten them up in here. Kind of want to square them, tighten them up as tight as you can. That's how they'll cook. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Going to move the camera up, kind of give you a better angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing on this next part. Not very complicated, but it'll help a little bit. All right, so you can see a little better how I squared them up in here. I actually should have told you this at the end because I am going to flip them to season them. Uh, but that's kind of how you want them laid out in there. Use your favorite chicken rub. Today we're going to be using the uh, Holy Voodoo and the Killer Hogs, the Barbecue Hot. It's just a mix I really like on chicken. This Holy Voodoo is awesome. The Barbecue Hot gives a nice savory flavor. It's a good mix. All right. So what we're going to do, go about six inches up. That'll give you a nice even coat. Go. Feel free to go a little overboard. Come back through. Might have to bust out my other bottle of this. Let's see. There we go. Then go ahead and flip them. You don't have to worry about them touching. I promise you, the end result will be incredible. Uh, repeat the process here on the bottom. Flip them back over. You want the skin exposed on top. If you've ever smoked chicken, you know the skin is always an obstacle. Sometimes it's hard to bite through. Not hard to bite through, just has a little tug. There we go. Then I have one stick of unsalted butter. Hopefully this is in frame. I'm just gonna drop little pieces here all over the chicken. Get it as even as I possibly can. piece left who gets it we'll go right here in the middle that makes sense this next step is optional I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot sauce I'm using the Frank's red hot uh, wing sauce hard to open with one hand after just touching butter um, and I'm just gonna kind of spread that lightly through it just like the flavor it gives Pit is coming up to temp. I'm going to cook about 300, 325, somewhere in that range today. Uh, once it hits that uh, 300 mark out there, I'll go ahead and get this chicken on. I'll show you guys that. Then we have some barbecue sauce to make and some sides to make. Going to be a fun video, guys. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, the pit is sitting at 319 right now. I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken on. Uh, today we're cooking with lump coal, and I got about four blocks of uh, cherry wood in there. I always cook with cherry anytime I'm cooking chicken. Gonna let this pit work some magic. All right, chicken's on the pit. We got it dialed in at 300. Now we get to make the sauce. This is probably my favorite part. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a better angle. Here we go. All right, first thing you wanna do is get some heat to it. So we're gonna turn this on, put it on simmer. Let's see where we at, where we at, there we go. Three should be simmer. I haven't used this thing forever, so sorry, bear with me. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get this barbecue sauce on. You can use any of your favorite barbecue sauce. Uh, this is one I, I homemade uh, last video. If you wanna see that, I'll link it right up here somewhere, somewhere up here. Um, but uh, I really like the smokiness. If you can find a good store-bought barbecue sauce with a lot of smoke to it, uh, you'll do really well with this recipe. But here we go, it's kinda cold, so I'm kinda hoping and praying it comes out easily. 
Oh, I want it. It's about one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Then you're gonna add one cup of orange juice. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here just to help some more of the sauce come out first. Come on, sauce. There we go. One cup of Coke. Now remember, simmer. You do not want this to burn. The Coke will burn, so you want to simmer it. Then, just a few shots of Jack Daniels. That's a few. And just start mixing it in. Now as it cooks, it'll thicken up just a bit. This is kind of more of a glaze. I keep saying sauce, but it is more of a glaze. You're going to dunk your chicken in it, get it back on the grill, put some heat to it. The heat will stick. You'll get that Jack Daniels, that Coke, that citrus. It's a pretty good mix. You'll also notice it'll start to darken. Well, I hope you'll notice. I don't know if camera will pick it up. And you want to simmer, stirring occasionally for about 20 minutes. And if you're cooking this at home and you have kids eating, make sure you cook that alcohol out. All right, gonna let this cook for a bit and get started on some sides. been about an hour we're gonna get a look at this chicken now looking freaking delicious all right it's time to hit it with some sauce then we're gonna get it back on the pit I'll show you how we're gonna do that all right so what I'm gonna do is just take this chicken dunk it cover it completely get it back on the pit I'm gonna repeat this step ten times Gonna get her closed up, let her cook. All right, ladies and gents, it's been about 15 minutes since we saw, sauced them, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes since they've actually started cooking. Gonna get a look at them. Looking delicious. Gonna give them a little bit more sauce. So you can pull chicken at 165, but I actually prefer to pull it around like 185.
Alright, now let's go. Alright, ladies and gents, I can't wait any longer. Oh my god, look at these beauties. Let's see where we're at here. Come on. Keep climbing. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna take it. Alright, I'm gonna get these off the pit, get them plated up. Then we're going to give them a taste test. Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. I bit my tongue there. Stay tuned. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that was the cook. Now is my favorite part. We get to taste test. So, I'm going to start with this chicken. Hopefully got a good bite through with it. We shall see. Got this beauty right here. Whew, here goes nothing. Mm, so good. Perfect bite through. I'm going to show you. Ow. Stepping on the trash can. I always been on the wrong side. Look at this. It just looks in freaking credible. Uh, all right. So let's talk about it. Well, actually, let's not talk about it just yet. Let's try some of this other stuff. I'm gonna make a couple other sides. Some smoked mac and cheese. I'm sure you've seen a pretty cool slow-mo montage of that. Hopefully, if it works out. <sighs> so good. So good. Let's try these green beans. Get some onion and some bacon in there. Maybe a little too much. Let's try and spin it. How's this going to fit? Work with me. I'm trying It's just so good. Everything is so good. Sorry, that was a pretty good bite. Wash it all down. Take a drink. Ah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about what we did. Today was a really simple cook. We got it brined up in that uh, Coke, lemon juice, and Worcestershire sauce. Only takes about three hours. That penetrates very well. It's very acidic, so it gets inside that chicken really easily. Um, the chicken soaks up that flavor, and it's delicious. Uh, from there, just salt and pepper each side. Get it laid out in one of those foil pans. Uh, use your favorite rub. Today we use that Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub, and the Meat Church Holy Voodoo. Excellent rubs for chicken. If you haven't tried them, I do highly recommend them. Not sponsored, just really enjoy the rubs. From there, we went ahead and added some uh, one stick of butter, just sliced up all around it. Try to spread it as even as possible. Um, I added some hot sauce. That's completely optional. You don't have to do that, but I did it. We went ahead, take it from there, get it on the pit, run it about 300. I actually uh, was around 300, 320. From there, that pit does all the work for you. I cooked it on some lump coal, some cherry wood, produced a really nice flavor. Uh, that went about an hour. After that hour, we went ahead and got that sauce made up. So I take about one cup of, uh, well, take your, your favorite barbecue sauce, whatever you'd like. Like I said, I made that sauce homemade. You can check the link in the video and uh, it'll show you how to make that sauce if you wanna do it on your own. If not, you can go to the store, buy your favorite barbecue sauce. I prefer a smokier flavor for this cook. Then you want to bring it to a simmer, add two shots of Jack, a cup of orange juice, and a cup of Coke. Stir that. You'll see it'll start to thicken up and get a little bit darker. Um, that's just that sugar melting down, and it's all going to form together. Let's do that for about 20 minutes, then just let it sit. You want to do this about an hour and a half, two hours before the cook. Uh, give that sauce enough time just to meld together. Uh, after the chicken cooks for about an hour, get the chicken out. Just baste it in that sauce, get it back on the grill. God, sounds like I'm explaining a lot, I'm sorry. It's really an easy cook. And then you can pull chicken at 165 and you're perfectly fine. It'll be very juicy for you. Uh, personal preference, I prefer 185. Chicken wings, I go to 200. Like I said, that's just my personal preference. It's what I like. Um, but yeah, pull it when you're ready. Get it off, let it sit about 10 minutes and you're good to go. Yeah, excellent cook. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna enjoy this food. I'll see you next time. Peace.